Hi guys, this is Dr. E from Dr. E Skateboard. Today we're gonna do a quick surgery on our DIY electric skateboard. I'm gonna be uh, replacing um, the Iowa LED lights. This is called the Iowa Mods LED lights um, to MBS 100 millimeter. I just wanna try out these wheels. Um, but the, uh, the pulley sizes are slightly different and I'll go ahead and outline some of the things you'll have to think about when changing um, custom wheels to different wheels. So the first thing I'm gonna do is obviously take the previous wheel apart. All right, just use this as a reference. This is not a complete guide. Every skateboard is obviously gonna diff be different. Um, and you may need uh, a bigger belt size depending on um, your skateboard. So I do have a slightly bigger belt because I already uh, figured out the pulley size is slightly smaller um with uh the a wall mods by the way this is a wall mods led wheels and the only problem i had installing these uh the pulleys um they didn't have like a screw in so it was just uh fitting it in there the problem was when i put it in um this part would come loose which happens to a lot of wheels that don't have screw ins that's why i prefer uh wheels that have um screws because that keeps it real tight, safe, stable. Whereas this, I have to actually drill custom holes to actually make it hold hold it. Um, and it's, and the pulley size is rather smaller, so I should get uh, slightly more torque actually with this, even with the bigger wheels. So I'm going to take this out, and also as you can see, the pulley size is um, small, and I've had my motor mounts um, literally on the ends. Let me actually go ahead and show you. You can see my motor mounts are all the way here and if my pulley size is bigger um, these these belts are not going to work. So I ordered uh, bigger belts and this is actually the wrong pulley size. This is only 12 millimeters and that way I can get full power of 15 millimeters. So I ordered some slightly longer ones instead of the 255M I had. Uh, I've got these 265Ms. So I'm just going to do a dry fit test. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna loosen the motor, so I have to adjust it. But I think they will fit, so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen my motor screws. And just make sure they can move around. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and put the new. The new belts. I'm going to do a dry fit test, just put the wheel in there and see if it fits. If it fits, it rides. Alright, it should fit in there loosely first and then I'm going to see if I can tighten the pulley, or sorry, the motors. So it fits in there fine, it's a little bit loose, uh, worked out, I, have, I bought the right size belt. Oh, this is perfect. And you gotta double check the alignment. Um, double check the alignment is correct. Just push it in all the way, make sure it's pushed in. And double check the pulley here aligns with here. And it's perfectly actually aligned. I really like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull on the motor as much as possible to tighten it. And I'm gonna tighten the outer two screws. So while pulling on the motor, I'm going to tighten the outer two screws, the motor screws. And then I'm going to test out, go back and forth, and also check the tension. This is just a little bit, it's a little tight, which is fine for my hills, I need it a little tight. So that's perfect, I'm just going to go ahead and take it out. And this is actually a really rather easy one because I ordered the right belts and luckily the wheel, uh, everything was just right on. It should be simple like this in most cases. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the motor screws. All right, make them real tight. Now you may wanna apply some uh, Loctite on there. Um, I did already put on Loctite the first time I did it, so I'm going to see if it does come loose later, I'll put more Loctite, but it seems to hold on real good, even with uh, pretty hard rides. 
Only thing I really recommend uh, making sure the Loctite cures is the motor mounts. But just make it, all right, that's nicely on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert everything back. Make sure you have a washer there. And, oh yeah, also if you don't know how to install the wheel uh, pulley, I have another video on that, I'll put that in the description. Follow that and learn how to install the actual uh, pulley to the wheel. Now the spacer, now the spacer you'll have to align here when you put it in, it doesn't go in right away. And as always, you're gonna go ahead and just slip the belt on there and just go, go around like that and then go ahead and start pushing in and boom. And double check the tension again, double check everything's working. Oh, that's super smooth. Now, if, if, if you want to make it as tight as possible, um, you, you should make it pretty tight here, but your motor should move freely. If you feel any tension, then you made it too tight. Then you'll have to uh, unscrew the motor mounts and try again. All right, always take your time. Now, also I've noticed that after you install the wheels, when you ride, when your board heats up, um, the Sometimes the tension might become different. I think that's due to the temperature. So if that happens, you may have to readjust it. So the first a few rides, just go real slow and don't go too fast and just do a warm up test and see how well it holds up and then adjust it if you need to. And then uh, when you're done adjusting, then go for it. Then go for your 20, 30 miles per hour. But always take it easy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make this super tight. All right, and then I'm gonna loosen it maybe a quarter turn. The wheel, for electric skateboards, the wheel should be snugly fit. It shouldn't like move around at all. All right, and that's looking really good. Ah, um, so these wheels, I'll have a review on it, but this is the MBS 100 millimeter wheels. But the first time I tried it, um, it didn't really grip that well. And from what I read online, I hear that you have to actually ride it a little bit or sand out some of this. So I'm gonna just try to ride it out. And when this wears off a little bit, it rides really good. So I'll have a review on that. Um, so do the same thing for the other side, all right? Uh, and, then, and then the front, it's pretty easy. You're just gonna go ahead and swap out the front wheels and you're pretty much done, all right? Let me go ahead and replace all the wheels and uh, and I'll show you how it runs. Hi guys, so I got all four wheels installed. Just go ahead and do a quick test. And that seems to look, run real good. Um, now notice, notice the pulleys are completely straight. The pulley spacing is just perfect right now. Um, the pulley, the if you install it perfectly, uh, the belt should not move too much at all. Mine doesn't move at all. So a real perfect fit. Um, I'll have a video. Uh, uh, after I try it out for a little bit, I'll have a full review. But for right now, um, that's how you can replace um, your wheels on your DIY electric skateboard. I know my motor mount's a little bit off because when I was drilling the hole, um, because you do have to drill the holes to keep it straight, um, it came off a, a little bit off. But it has no, um, but it it runs fine. Um, the motor mounts do not move anymore. All right, so ready to go. Have a great day. Stock 3.